Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. We have a lot to cover today, so we're going to be focusing on two subjects for the introduction. One is the Q3 results and some possible implications for Giga Texas and possibly Tesla itself. And we're going to look back on this day one year ago to put into context how Giga Texas looked then and how it looks today in the drone video. Starting off with the Q3 results, as many of you may have seen, Tesla reported uh, some significant uh, improvements in the vehicle production and deliveries for this year. You can take a look at the link shown at the bottom arrow and also in the video description for additional information. As you can see here, Elon Musk congratulated Tesla team and also talked about thanks to their suppliers and logistic partners coming through despite great difficulties. And also, as you can see in the report itself, thanking the customers for their patience as they work through those global logistics problems. So let's do a quick comparison between Q2 and Q3 2021 for both production and deliveries. So as you can see in the upper right hand corner, compared to the quarter three, the about 13.5% quarter over quarter growth for production and 16.6 quarter over quarter growth for deliveries, which is outstanding. So let's put these production and delivery numbers into context so we can appreciate how well Tesla did. All of this was done despite significant logistics, which is basically computer chip challenges that affected almost every major automotive manufacturer. As you can see here from Holmar's catalog, GM was down 33%, which was its worst quarter in, since 2009. Volkswagen down 8.2%, Nissan 10%, Subaru 30%, and Ford about uh, 37%. And then annually, year over year, Tesla is up this quarter 73%. What a remarkable accomplishment. So let's turn our attention to a little bit later this week. On uh, Thursday, October 7th at 4.30 p.m. Central Time, using a virtual-only format, Tesla has announced that they will be holding the annual meeting of stockholders for more information, you can see the link down below. It'll also be in the video description. So I'd like to draw your attention to something very interesting that I noticed both in the Q3 vehicle production and the annual meeting of stockholders announcements. Notice that both of them are listed as coming from Austin, Texas. And to my knowledge, this is the first time either of these have been anywhere other than Palo Alto, California. So it makes you wonder what is going on. And to be honest, I suspect this is not the last time that we will see this. In fact, I think this will probably be becoming common and what we'll be seeing from this point on. So what are your thoughts about that? Taking a look back on this day one year ago at Giga Texas, we can uh, see some of the progress and changes that uh, you'll see in the drone video later today. As you see here, more work was being accomplished on reclaiming that northwest pond area to extend the foundation the full length. You can also see more of the grading and work being done preparing to uh, start some sort of construction, most likely the footings on the foundation. Here in the north, we're going over that north pond area. At this point in time, it had been fully excavated. Here's the old bag plant, and you can see it has no equipment on the outside and still some of it has to be disassembled. And here we're flying right over where the electrical substation was built. Now we're on the east side. This is where all the storage of material and the battery cathode plant will be manufactured. And you can kind of see the changes that have happened in a year. This is the east side going across the power lines at the south end of the body and white structure. And you'll see the pit here where the stamping machine was, uh, the structure was constructed and those underground uh, vaults were put in. And you can see it was actually in two major sections. And of course, finally, this is the south end over the water detention ponds and looking at the overall foundation. I hope that you found this look back one year ago on this date at Giga Texas helpful and informative. Before we begin, I would like to say thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.